Well, here we are out in a place where normally there is tons and tons of activity and energy and life going on. I'm reminded of that always at St. Pat's School. Uh, it, it's an incredible place where life happens. Um, and, and I know I wanted to touch base with you because I, 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 wanna, I want you all to be assured. I, I want to reach out and touch touch base and kind of let you know where things are at. Um, I walked past this in the library and I felt like it kind of said a lot. In, the, in high tide or in low tides, Jesus will be by your side. And when I really stop and think about it, we're all in different places. We've all experienced um, the pandemic in, in various ways. Um, and what I would hope and pray is that through it all, that we can come through it seeing how Jesus has been with us. It's an important time for, have, for having that happen. A actually, I think that it has so much to do with what a Catholic school is about and why it's important is because we help people to be firm and strong in their faith. And it has to do with teaching as Jesus has taught us and helping ki kids to grow and develop and to become who the good Lord intends them to be. Um, I want to assure all of you, especially all of our parents, um, everything that has been given the greatest consideration, especially over the past this summer, I have been in awe with, with the commitment and the desire and the plan that has been coming together. And, and your kids are, are, are heart's desire and and the focus has always been towards wanting them to we want them to return a hundred percent i mean hands down it's just not the same i can't even tell you what it was like not having them around towards the end of this year um but but i have hope in what's coming next and i i ask that you believe in what we do as well because um we, you know there's much that we learned we were put into the midst of of, of trying to come up with solutions and ha coming up with um, a process uh, towards the end of last year. Well, over the summer, uh, there's been a total commitment towards, towards um, making our plan be something that I hope that you will find appealing. I hope that you found my email very helpful in knowing the direction that we're going to ensure that your students and our staff are safe this fall when we return to school. We continue to plan each day um, on how that's going to look when the kids come back and what it's going to take to make that happen. As you know, we've had some generous donors help us with our process of, of implementing some of those safety procedures, but it's going to take more and we're very grateful for what we have. The CARES money will be helpful, but we would appreciate any addition. So again, thank you so much for your generosity. We're super excited about the fall, especially knowing all of our kids can be here. This is a perfect time for us to be able to say, this is why it's so important for my kids to have a Catholic, a Catholic education, because it has to do with, it has to do with forming and shaping their hearts and about about recognizing what we're a part of and it and so we're grateful for the commitment that you've shown over time and we're asking you for that continued uh, commitment in into our future we need we we want nothing more than to have all of our kids here and what i'm hoping and praying that we are going to co together continue to build up what we have at saint pat's because we have an awesome history there's 20 years now of education that's happening at our school. And, and so I want us all to do our part. Um, we're gonna be ready. We're gonna be ready to go at the beginning of the year. Um, Catholics value lives. And, and with all the medical professionals literally saying that masks save lives, um, what we're trying to do is make, is make the, the best choices and we're trying to model that. Uh, and and, and we're, we're teaching our kids. We also have been worked really hard to try to have the guidelines that we do so that we can have the best practices and that we can see that uh, we've, we've shown the well-being and the dignity and, and our desire to care for one another. And we had a, an anonymous donor that came forward and is willing to donate 
all of the plexiglass so that we can have individual spaces for our kids in our school. That's a pretty wonderful thing. We have another family that donated $10,000 to buy extra materials that we need. This is a great thing happening at St. Pat's and I am pretty certain that, you know, we, we do go through, we do go through high tides and low tides. And I'm pretty certain that we can look back over this pandemic and we can say, you know what, there's been the high points, the low points, and hopefully we're gonna be able to reflect and see it through and see how Jesus has anchored us. The lessons of what your kids can learn for life through it all will profoundly affect their lives. And so let that happen. Let's open ourselves up to God's grace. Let us know the power of the Holy Spirit because you know what? It sees us through. It's a blessed assurance given to us by, Je by Jesus and now received by us. And so I have to say, it's a gift to be your pastor. It's a blessing to be a part of St. Patrick's School. And uh, <laughs> I hope and pray that you can see there's no place better for your children to be. Amen. Hallelujah.